Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Michael Leeton from Leeton Point and Architects. This is our latest project, Brush House. Uh, the traditional owners of the land on which this project is built are the Boorawang people of the Kulin Nation. Brush House sits on the corner of a fairly typical inner Melbourne suburban block. The siding of the house explores an alternative subdivision pattern where front and rear gardens are melded together to create an expansive landscape that provides both a physical and acoustic buffer from the street. The house explores fluid form through its expressive concrete facade and flowing internal planning. Sculpted double height openings carved into the northern facade allow for northern access and provide protection from the harsh summer sun. An ocular skylight above one of the overscaled arches signals the entries. Our client had seen some of our previous work and originally wanted an off-form concrete house. This was not achievable within the budget, so we explored other construction methodologies and ended up using a cost-effective process typically used in basement construction. After extensive research, what drew us to this new way of sculpting concrete was that it deleted the need for wasteful and expensive timber formwork. So it became an exercise in sustainability and how we could achieve an outcome more simply with a reduced carbon footprint. So what we did was take a very rudimentary construction process and elevate it to a textured and highly expressive form. One that engages and cont contributes to the streetscape whilst adding a contemporary layer to the surrounding context. This experimental use of concrete was achieved through a wonderful collaboration between us, the engineer and the builder. The result is a building which is both robust and elegant, grounded and weightless. This gives the building an ethereal quality. So externally you get this really organic and layered sculptural form that is in some way like a bold civic gesture brought into a domestic context. We really like the tension and dialogue with the street this, the, the building creates in this setting. The way the house creates moments of curiosity and engagement for both passers-by and the inhabitants. What on first appearances may appear like a brutal yet elegant form externally is counterbalanced by the tactile and calming interior a surprise upon entering. We wanted to create cave-like cocooning that nurtures and protects the owners within. Expansive north-facing windows tucked behind outstretched concrete arches frame the, lay frame the, la the landscape beyond. Internally, a series of interconnected spaces flow into one another, creating a fluid and generous sense of ease. Floor and ceiling finishes and subtle level variations reinforce the change of use and differentiate the zones within the house. A natural palette of timber, stone, textured walls and linen curtains add to the organic and tactile nature of the home. A tangible sense of sanctuary is prevalent, which is what our clients are wanting, particularly post-COVID. Places of refuge, of calm and repose. An arch seating nook was created to celebrate the daily patterns and rituals of family life. It was about creating intimate zones within a larger space. The shifts are subtle and nuanced without the need for overt architectural embellishment. Detailing throughout is simplified to respond to budget and allows the overall form and materiality of the house to sing. Everything is paired back to its essence. And here is the ground floor showing the uh, siding of the house on the corner of the two streets. Um, uh, not working. That's the corner there. This is the entry with the oculus skylight. Um, the house is zoned through the careful placement of circulation spaces widening into more communal living areas. The stairwell, the dining area separated by the fireplace, the kitchen, and at the end, the lounge room. Services and functional parts of the house are organised in a rational spine along the southern side of the building. Here's the first floor, the main bedroom with ensuite, separated from the kids' bedrooms along the southern side with a shared bathroom here.
This is a picture of the main bedroom, and the emphasis actually is on the space internally when you look out through the, the arched um, opening. And there's also an associated lounge area, so that the space has a double function and can be used at different times of the day. Sustainability is seamless within the building, where everything is integrated yet remains unseen. A concealed 20,000 litre water tank has been installed to harvest water, in addition to solar panels on the roof. Thermal massing, passive cross ventilation, thermal insulation are integrated within the building fabric. Large overhangs, concealed blinds and high performance glazing provide protection from the, the northern and western sun. Brush House has been an exciting and demanding project for our small practice. We invested a lot of time gaining the trust of our clients, who had never built before. In turn, they entrusted us and took a big leap of faith. For someone who has never built before or been through the architectural process, we commend them and are very grateful for what is a pretty brave move. To facilitate this, we built a relationship with the builder early in the process. Yep, here we go. Uh, we, we built a relationship with the builder early in the process to advise on construction and budgeting through each of the planning, documentation and construction phases to ensure that targets were met. What we hope we have achieved at Brush House is an exploration in fluid form and sculpted light where a sense of restraint prevails. It is subtle and understated and provides a sheltered and intimate backdrop to busy family life. Thank you.